We are in the um, village of Mont Prosper, and today we are officially going to hand over some um, agricultural tools, equipment, supplies, agrochemicals to a group of young farmers in the Mont Prosper area. Mont Prosper hails from a serious farming village, and the young people here, they embrace agriculture seriously. And we have decided under one of our programs with the government of Dominica and of course our Prime Minister assisted tremendously with this one where we have purchased for them sprayers, knapsack sprayers, and brush cutters, cutlasses, forks, fertilizer, agrochemicals and you name it. We have provided for, for these young men here where they're going to be, we, we're going to be distributing it today among themselves and they have their holdings in the, in the various parts of Mount Prosper and we thought as a government it will be good to embrace our young people here because we, make, we want to make sure we keep our people on the right track. So behind me what you see here is quite a bit of the tools and some of the young men who would you know speak with us today. Well the agricultural program is a high revives for us because I mean we need it in the village. We have enough land and thing to work and we need a little a little help with it, so it's a very good vibe that the, go the government helping us with it, so I say thank you for it. Now, it's like it's a good thing for, for us, man, because now we're willing to work, man, and, you know, develop the, the, the community in one prospect, you know, so them tools and things we get there, you know, it's a good strength for us, uh, for us to hold our head, man, because if you have something to do, you know. What you see behind us, we're going to make some real good use out of it, so by the end of the year, you or something, we'd like all you to come and video our farm, and we say thank you. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. This project came about one night we had a, a sort of a social event at, um, in Lower Mount Prosper at my sister's home where we invited a number of the young folks. Hold on. Where we invited a number of young persons who came and they were with us there. The Prime Minister was present at the meeting. We had in excess of at least 70 young persons from the village of Mount Prosper present at this um, gathering. It was a lovely social event. We socialize it with our people, especially the young ones. And what there's a conversation that was held with the Honorable Prime Minister and myself, among with some of the young men here, where they said, where they, where they mentioned to us that they had some challenges with, you know, getting um, ag fertilizers, agrochemicals, knapsack sprayers, tools, brush cutters, and they thought, you know, that if they could, you know, get some assistance from government, the Prime Minister immediately called me, and we decided that we're going to make these um, items available to them, and we made them available to them. And today, this is what we see here in terms of supporting them with the agriculture. So I must say, this program was a program that was that you know was born rapidly. This is a simple visit, lovely social event, Prime Minister being present, and a man of his word, I must say, a man of his word, who after discussing with them, said that, Doc, we're going to have to put things in place for these young people. So what you see here today, as a result of a discussion with the Prime Minister, the young men, myself, and we're able to provide them with that assistance. And we will continue to help them as we continue to go through lives. They have not officially named themselves yet. There's young guys who... They line together, they work together, and you know, they, they, they saw it fit to you know, come together. And as this grouping, as we met them at the grouping at the, um, at the function, they've decided that if they can get the help, they will push the agriculture. And they've said to us that, as you have heard here, they want us to come back in the next couple of months, at least say between three to six months, and to have a look at their plots. A lot of them are involved in farming already, but what we see here today in terms of the supplies will fit it, you know, take them to, you know, much, you know, take them in a better place, you know. Most of the guys are involved in vegetable crop farming, a lot of um, the ground season, the seasonings, Take cabbage, tomato, tomato, cabbage, lettuce, all sorts, etc. Et mm -hmm. But we also do ground provision as well. So those two are going to really benefit us in the long run. It's like I have half an acre, that person maybe have an acre, you know, and sort of. We sell it to the, um, to the vendors in the market, sometimes we sell it on retail, and we have different means and ways of selling our produce. Mount Prosper is the largest vegetable crop production area in the island. And the reason for that is, if you look at the, 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 the surrounding uh, mountains here, most of them, all of them, during the eruption days, they dumped their dust on Mount Prosper. So Mount Prosper has a good soil depth without any stones, and this lends well to agriculture. So long ago, when the people settled here, they really embraced agriculture. And this is one village in Dominica where young people continue to embrace agriculture. Often you see people from the rural areas, there's what you call the rural urban drift. But in Mount Prosper, I guess, because of the proximity to the capital city, there's no real reason for drifting to Rozo. What they do here, they do their farming, and it's passed on from generation to generation in terms of the farmers. The, 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 the mothers and the fathers, they involve in um, farming, it goes down to their children. And I must say, this is one of the few villages in Dominica where you see a lot of our women in involved in farming as well too. A lot of the ladies in Mount Prosper actually farmers as well too. And this really spells in 
know, it speaks volume for, for a country where you have the males working hard in terms of some of the manual labor required, and you have the, the females doing, some of them work hard in terms of using the fox and wolves, but a lot of them do the weeding, the planting, the watering, the fertilizing, and whatever it takes to nurture the plants. So it's a win-win situation where you have mother, father, and being passed on to the kids right now, the children, and what you see as the young men. And what I see here is a proper partnership between government, the young people, the older farmers in terms of helping the young ones to keep them in agriculture because Mon Prosser feeds a lot of Rosa, a lot of Dominica as a matter of fact. They sell to hucksters, it goes overseas. They sell to all the vendors in the Rosa market. They themselves sell in the, in the, in the um, Rosa market as well too. So when you look at vendors, they themselves doing their direct retailing of agriculture and they supplying the hucksters, I think that's a great opportunity. And what I'd like for here is for agriculture to continue in this area because this is one of the few areas in Dominica where you have that sort of soil and as well too, the techniques involved in agriculture. What I'd like to do is to look at some of our, um, the, the Chinese technical mission and see if we can get them to introduce new varieties into that area, new techniques, so we can broaden the whole base of agriculture here, and which will help us a lot in terms of capturing more of the markets here. Also too, in this area as well, we have a number of young folks engaged under the National Employment Program, both in another agricultural program, and this is a second agricultural program whereby we'll provide this young men here with supplies. Under the agricultural program with the NEP, we also have supplies as well too in terms of NACSAP sprayers, tools, equipment and various things. So we have a number of different components of agriculture taking place right here, all supported by the National Employment Program, the Prime Minister's office, and this is what we want to do for our people here and to keep them employed. And we're also looking at additional young folks who are interested in agriculture such that we can take them to this level. In terms of supporting our people and have them gainfully employed over the next couple of months, we want to continue working them and assist them. We have in excess of about eight to ten, about ten young men here being paid every single month by for well twice a month where they receive a special stipend and that stipend goes towards providing them with agricultural inputs, um, some farm, farm labor, their boots, whatever it takes to help them in agriculture. This group we are, are here with today is a separate group, but some of them are involved in it as well too. They also benefit directly from it. And what we'd like to do with this group is to incorporate them into the National Employment Program to give them a further push again too. So it's a combination of this direct program here as a result of the meeting we held with the Prime Minister and myself and some of the young men here. And of course, the National Employment Program. So we have two agricultural programs running right here in Mount Prosper. This one and another one, but we'd like to include more folks in terms of more of our people here. And of course, target. we have women targeted as well too, but we want to specifically go after the women in terms of targeting them because they play a, they, they play a significant role in agriculture in Mount Prosper. What Doc doing for us is a very, very, very good thing. And if and if that stop, the economy is not that beautiful. The trajectory is like what we get in there. Thanks to God and thanks to Dr. Mark. So it's just, just me. It, it, it just cannot stop. I mean, the importance of that now is like now that is the way of that is the way of our life. That is the way we, we live in. That is the way we get our income. That is the way we get our our money for us to do what we have to do. So it's like. If that will stop now, we will feel like it's like uh, we're missing a hand, man, or, or a leg, you know? So it's like it's a disadvantage first, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like we we, we, we wouldn't like it to stop, man. We're like the, 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 the program to always continue so we can always keep working, man, you know? Because now for us, we really have to say we have jobs to do, you know?